The Museum of Palermo Observatory is located on the top of an ancient tower of the Royal Palace. In the original rooms that housed the Specola Panormitana, established in 1790 by King Ferdinand I of Bourbon. The building, as well as most of its original furnishings and equipment, were completely restored in 2001, when the museum was opened. It preserves the original premises of the observatory and hosts several collections of scientific instruments, not only in the field of astronomy, but also of meteorology, physics, topography. In the entrance hall to the museum, visitors are welcomed by the gallery of portraits of the Palermo Observatory directors till the 1950s. You also find a burst and a large portrait of the first director, the theatin priest Giuseppe Piazzi. The room also shows the original position of the inner part of, the, of an ancient rain gouge now restored and on display in its original niche. In this room you can find also 19th century chronometers used for astrometrical measurements with the meridian circle located in the meridian room and shown later. Located around the main pillar of the ancient tower holding the observatory and designed by the architect Menanzio Marvuglia, the circular room houses the Ramsden Circle, a unique telescope in the world, commissioned to the English instrument maker Jesse Ramsden in 1787 to make accurate astrometric measurements. The instrument is a masterpiece of the technology of its time and allowed the discovery of the first asteroid, Ceres, now classified as a dwarf planet, in 1901, and the reduction of two important star catalogues, published in 1803 and 1814. The circle was in use until the end of the 19th century. The gallery of portable instruments takes its name from the small instruments belonging to the original equipment of the observatory, easily transported outside to make observations from the terrace. On the walls of the gallery we find paintings dating back to the early 19th century, depicting prominent personalities of the time in the field of astronomy. Lalanne, Ramsden, Herschel, Piazzi himself. The furniture is largely 18th century, designed by the famous French architect Lyon Dufourny. Inside the gallery, together with astronomical instruments, we find topographic and physics instruments. The modern display cases contains the precious Herschel mirror. The gallery of portable instruments of some instruments that belonged to Prince Giulio Tomasi di Lampedusa, the protagonist of the novel The Leopard by Giuseppe Tomasi Lampedusa, 
Prince Giulio Tomasi was an amateur astronomer. Some instruments that the prince used in his observatory in 1887 were purchased by the Astronomical Observatory of Palermo and today they are here on a permanent exhibition. These telescopes, along with books and furnishings from the observatory, were used in the 1960s by director Lucchino Visconti on the film sets of the Leopard to reconstruct the rooms of the Prince's Observatory. At the entrance to the Meridian Room, the Rania looking at the Ramsden Circle. The first Meridian Room of the Observatory, built in 1790, was uh, renovated around the mid-19th century to house the instrument that is now on display, the Pister and Martin's Meridian Circle, purchased in Berlin in 1854. The room was then enlarged and the floor was reinforced to support the weight of the stone pillars on which the instrument rests. The decoration of the room is in neo-gothic style and was designed by architect Giovan Battista Filippo Basile. The room contains its accessory equipment, namely the card of the inversion of the instrument, a mobile wooden staircase on tracks, the artificial horizon and some astronomical clocks. Meteorology has always been included in astronomical observatories as an ancillary science. Important parameters for astronomical observations, such as the refractive index of air, in fact, require the corresponding meteorological data. This room also houses a large portrait of Niccolò Cacciatore, Piazzi's successor, who started the reorganization of the observatory's meteorological series. Thanks to this uninterrupted series, Palermo Observatories has been recognized as Centennial Meteorological Station by the World Meteorological Organization in 2020. Meteorology was originally flanked by seismology. Some of the observatory's first Mercury seismoscopes are also exhibited here in their original niches. This room, built around the half of the 19th century, is surmounted by the largest dome of the observatory and houses the MERS Equatorial Telescope. The room was entirely renovated during the 1990s. The marble pillar holding the telescope is original and has been restored in 2012. The beautiful instrument, 24.6 cm aperture and 342 cm focal length, was purchased in 1856 but installed in 1865, after the unification of Italy, and was among the first telescopes to be used for early solar physics studies. In the room are also on display the bust of the Jesuit astronomer Reverend Father Angelo Secchi, considered one of the founders of solar spectroscopy, who collaborated with astronomer Pietro Tacchini in Palermo The showcases hold spectroscopes and geomagnetic instruments purchased between the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century, and the globe of Mars. The museum is part of the Palermo University Museum Network, but is managed by ENAF, Astronomical Observatory of Palermo, which over time has taken care of cataloging, restoring and exhibiting the collections. The preservation of this precious heritage 
as sparkled studies in the history of astronomy, which stay aside the cutting-gauge astronomical research conducted at the Palermo Observatory. <laughs> 